There we go. Now let's do the headset. Do, do, whoops, that's the wrong button. Oh, why isn't that working? Oh, there we go. Found it. There we go. Now we have all the game audio. Perfect. So, uh, apparently I had to fix Battletech 2 after my sound issues with uh, sound X4. I need to pay more attention. Hopefully, Creeper World. I need to double check my Creeper World recording. I think it worked. But yeah, we'll see. Anyways, um, we're back in uh, Battletech. I almost called it X4 Foundations. I am Afroluigi. And we're about to do this uh, base destruction mission. Oh boy, hot mission. There's no discussions or anything this time. Oh, look, we're already having to deal with the garrison. Perfect. Oh, a 60 tongue minute. Oh, crud. Waiting for orders. Oh, Medusa can get a slant of sight on both of them. Perfect. Let's have a look to see what we're dealing with. Oh, boy. We have, um... Rifleman. Okay, just open fire. I'm here. Can you get a nice clean line of sh line of sight? No, all that's curved. How about you, Decker? You. Actually, Decker, you have a. Hmm. Good enough. Target acquired. Yes, Commander. Uh and away we go. Fortunately hot rod is only it be able to long range missile that thing. Man, that rifleman's a lousy shot. On the other hand, we also have a heavy mech. Oh, auto! I forgot about turrets. Oh, crud. Um, oh, well, there's not much we can do about that as long as these vehicles have line of sight on us. What do you need? Let's get you to cover. No, not quite into cover yet, but next turn. Oh, AC5 crit. Nice. That's a 40 ton mech, a medium mech, I think. I think 40 ton falls into the medium mech range. That will be interesting. Oh, well, we'll, we'll take out the rifleman first. I'm receiving you. Hmm. Oh, if you go there. Uh, I want you to. I want us to go after the rifleman, though. So, um, actually, yeah, get into the trees so you have cover. And fire at that rifleman anyways. Oh, nice! <laughs> that poor rifleman. Wait, that means my my heavy mech is going to be going before their heavy mech. A Vulcan. Those things are weird looking. Wow. Is he multi-targeting? Is that why I only fired one weapon? He was literally just firing one weapon. Roger 
Roger that. Uh, target the cockpit, why not? Same thing, to fire out that cockpit. No, oh, left her torso and left arm destroyed. Now, what's it going to do? If it runs away, I'll, be, I'll let it. Nope, not running away. It's limping into combat. Where? Cute. <laughs> Very cute. Wow. They only have that one long range turret on that base. Good to go. Position confirmed. Uh don't waste your short range missiles. Oh. Uh, we're already a third of the way through the base. Oh, it's just those two other mechs for the uh, base garrison. It's literally three mechs for the base garrison. Unless there's reinforcements, which there might be. Standing by. Waiting for orders. Affirmative. Uh, use your precision strike so you just can get some accuracy on that. Hi. There we go. Ready for orders. I copy. Okay, that's gonna be enough jump, Jen. And you're the most. I think you're. Yeah, you're the only mech that has a, any decent amount of heat. Oh, the Vulcan. Oh, that's not good. Warning. Armor low. Engaging physical attack. You missed. You seriously missed. No damage detected. Yeah, that was a mistake. We're going to have to definitely uh, have that mech move around. Where gets us the most of This guy, is his evasion maxing out at two? I guess it will be. Oh, I should have reserved him for after that mech. Roger that. Perf, that's good at least. Uh, they're spreading out their fire, that's handy. Oh crap. And... You know what, let's get you behind that locust. I think if you can get there, that counts as a flanking maneuver and you won't you'll ignore evasion. Don't waste anything with ammo on that, though. Nope. Warning. Armor low. Standing by. 
get up there. So <laughs> let's let's stop using the uh, jump jets for a while. Give Decker a chance to cool down. And let's do, not use the PPC. And don't waste your long-range missiles. Man, that auto cannon sucks. Aye, aye. Got it. Copy that. Man, that Vulcan's taking a beating. And use your auto cannon just because I'm getting sick of that. Oh, finally, something did. Um, was that the arm with the flamer, though? I don't think so. I think the right arm has the flamer. Yeah, it's the right arm that has the flamer, I think. Yeah. Commander. On it. Confirmed. He really missed with the part of the PPC at that range. Solid connection on that one. On the other hand, that flamer's gone. Engaging target. Oh, nice. Enemy oh, there we go. I was going to is it not knocked down? Oh, nice. They um, didn't target my heavy mech for once. Or, I spoke too soon. Oh, different auto cannon. Warning. Armor low. Orders. Um, hmm. And yeah, just unload on it. Come on. Ah, oh, I didn't blow up. I like how the locust keeps thinking it has a chance. Like, what's it hoping to accomplish? And uh, don't wait your waste your AC tens. Copy that, Commander. <laughs> of course, that didn't kill it. Reporting critical hit. Good to go. Uh, this should definitely kill it. There we go, finally. Hostile removed. Uh, 
Let's get the high ground. Yeah, don't waste any ammo on the locusts. <laughs> uh, poor Locust. <laughs> Wish I could see that. Really need to uh, level up hot rod. Negative damage. Repeat. Yes, Commander. Locked on. Scratch another target. Perfect. There we go. Base garrison's gone, and still no sign of reinforcements. Uh, let's get them to there. Roger. Just like that. On my way. And... Yeah, Medusa. Use your uh, sensor lock. I've got a, sensor a light lock. sniper turret. Yes, Commander. Acknowledged. And yeah, just unload. Roger. Waiting for orders. Acknowledged. I actually don't waste your ammo based weapons. One turret did down. That turret is gone. Ready for orders. And let's move forward over here a little bit. See if we can find that other turret. Ah, there we go. Two turrets located. Ooh, a light shredder turret. Commander? No. Let's move you to there. Hopefully that doesn't get get you within line of sight. Just close enough to fire. Oh, no. Not in line of sight yet. But perfect. Just within range to use the autocannon. Okay. <laughs> well, not what I wanted. And next, we'll move you within ra sensor range of that turret over there. Roger. Oh, we need to advance you just a little. Hopefully, that's enough. Another turret down. Hopefully. Waiting for orders. 
Can you just sensor? Can you already sensor lock that? Yeah, you can. A light laser turret. Oh, that thing's gonna be absolutely useless against me. Unless they have large lasers or a PPC, but even then. Roger that. Target confirmed. Standing by. Affirmative. Wow, Decker. Really? Oh, it looks like there's another turret right there. Okay, let's move you a bit closer. Hopefully not within visual range. There we go. And let's get that last. Oh, we, no one has line of sight on that turret. I've got a the light sniper. Commander? Oh, if you go there, you have line of sight. Perfect. Um, I should have checked to make sure it was actual within range of the auto cannon. Oh, yeah, it is. Yeah, so Hoodecker won't be able to use the particle projector cannon this time, but he hasn't hit once with that thing anyways with these turrets, so it doesn't really matter too much if he can't hit it with his particle projector cannon. Hopefully he miss hits with the missiles at least. Turret destroyed. Yeah. Okay, let's advance you to there. Huh? What did you just detect? Hmm, no idea. I. Oh, maybe they're talking about the tur the station, the um, the structures being in range. I don't know. Yeah, I'm not going to waste any ammo on these buildings, so it might take a little bit longer, but I'm not wasting ammo. Standing by. Unless I have to, like, hot rod being out of range. Actually, I could have sprinted hot rod into range. Uh, do, 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 yeah, just brace. Yes, Commander. Acknowledged. Confirmed. Good shot, Commander. Enemy structure down. Target destroyed. Warning. Enemy reinforcements detected. Oh, okay. Good thing I decided not to waste my ammo. Uh, Medusa, use your evasion, Copy that. and then sensor lock that mech over there, the one we can see. Let's see what we're dealing with. It's a 40 ton mech. Got a lock. It's an assassin. Let's have a look at this thing. Actually looks kind of cool. I'm receiving you. Moving out. Confirmed. 
<laughs> Stray Shot took out those t towers. What's up, boss? I copy. Got it. Nice. Ah, oh, yeah, multi target. I need more guys with multi target at this point, so I think Hot Rod's going to be a multi target. And I have Hot Rod set to do most of multi targeting. Uh, you target that. Target that. No, another building destroyed. Receiving you. Mm. Is it just the one mech? Well, there's only one mech I can see, so. Practically one mech at this point. I'm here. Confirm. <laughs> Long. That hit something good. Wow, I just crippled him. Waiting for orders. Affirmative. Firing on target. Oh, here comes another mech. That's a fifty that's a more intimidating mech, a fifty ton. On the other hand, that assassin's not moving and is in really bad shape. Engaging multiple targets. <sighs> okay, there's three re enemy reinforcement mechs incoming according to the uh, thing. Alright, let's see what we're dealing with this 50 tonner. Ooh, a trebuchet. Unfortunately, it has gonna have to get a lot closer to us before it can be effective. Waiting for orders. Coordinates received. And in the meantime, we're gonna start taking pot shots at it. Not bad for its first shot. Ready for orders. Unfortunately, now that it's in visual range, I I can have four mechs firing on it, not just one. <laughs> oh boy. Good to go. Position confirmed. Engage. And
That's what it gets for not moving, though, and it's... It... Why did it move? It's four on one right now, basically. And, well, now it has no evasion, and all my units have evasion. And it's like, really? <laughs> oh, it's... One of its biggest guns just got critted. There we go. On my way. I love the uh, collateral damage just walking around sometimes. There we go. Receiving you. Honestly, I don't feel like going to the LZ at all. I feel like locating the uh, third mech and just kind of destroying it wherever it hides. Here it comes. Oh, destroyed that part. It's its biggest gun's gone. Oh, now it's moving. Is it running? It's all it's got now is an AC5, and uh, so yeah, I think it's running. All right. Oh well, it's not gonna go get. It's not gonna get very far with it showing its back to us. All right. Just like that. Enemy eliminated. Oh, here comes the other. They were, they were literally going... It literally ran back up here and is going around. Wow. Good to go. Let's counter it. Just go do the exact same thing the other way, though. Engaging target. <laughs> yeah, I don't feel like getting to the running to the evac zone at all. Let's take out that enforcer. What do you need? Engage and jump jet. Okay, now it's its turn, then I get three turns. Oh god, this poor enforcer. Not bad shot, though. They're banging through my armor. I'm receiving you. Coordinates received. Confirmed. Structure exposed. It's yeah. Mm. I know I said I wasn't used. Decker is having such a heat problem right now. Now, I think I need AC5s to salvage, so I'll see if I can get some of those. Engaging target. 
man, that poor enforcer. There's literally nothing it can do. Maybe a mistake advancing, because it definitely has the high ground on us. On the other hand, there's always that. Wait, don't tell me it's running. Oh, no. I guess it's realized it has the most... I guess it's just trying to do some damage at this point, so let's just kind of mess with its plans. Let's just do that. Give it a little breathing room. And give Hot Rod some breathing room as well. All right, guess not. Let's move. Let's let Decker cool down a little. Oh, yeah, do that. Standing by. Really? You didn't do anything for that turn? Standing by. There we go. Target confirmed. <laughs> right arm destroyed. Nice. I think I hit something good. I think so. I think you did too. All right. Oh man, that poor enforcer. Enemy mech, critical damage detected. Yes, Commander. Here we go. Target lock on enemy six. There we go. Scored a critical hit. It's gonna have to move farther if it wants to get away. Wow. That was kind of sad. I'm here. Roger. And I'm pr Roger that. Target confirmed. Waiting for orders. Heading out. I'm curious what the kill breakdown on this level is going to be. Roger. Oh, did I see something break off? No. The poor heavy mech is just stuck way back, can't do much. Like seriously, it it's not maneuvering in a way where I mission accomplished. Beautiful. That one's gone. All right, targets eliminated. Sit tight, and I can collect you. Mission successful. And get a nice bonus for this mission. 
Because we put, took out all the garrison and the reinforcements. I think we had more problem dealing with the garrison just because of the turret bombardment. Head increased by 25. Hidden objective. Destroy base turrets. 10%. Nice. Ah, oh, I wonder what would happen if I destroyed everything. Oh, everyone got at least one kills, including Centurion. Including Hot Rod and the Centurion. Decker got the most kills despite the fact he had lousy shot. It was a lousy shot. Ooh. Kind of want the Rifleman. And I do want the AC-5s. Oh, and I got the Locust Salvage. Bunch of jump jets. Now let's see if I can... If I, I think it was the AC-5 that I needed. Hopefully I can repair up my uh, Blackjack. Because the Blackjack's a really nice mech for uh, guys who can multi-target. Just because of all, all the weapons we have on it. Man, that was relative... I mind it was a two-skull mission, and we are basically, I think, rated at two and three skulls at this point. Yeah, I need more heavy mechs, basically. That's why I want this. Oh, here we go. All right, let's start in the mech bay. Yeah, okay, let's re just repair that. It'll take a day. That didn't even take any damage, so repair that. Repair that. Oh, it's an AC-2 it needed. Ah. Is there an AC-2 in the store right now? An AC-5. Let's see if I can outfit. Mm. Oh well, we'll deal with that. Let's level up our Mac Warriors. Ooh, extra health. Or indirect fire penalty. Let's take the indirect fire penalty. Ooh, recoil. Oh, right, Havoc is our multi targeter. Training confirmed, Commander. Training complete. Mech Warrior training complete. Standing by. Training confirmed, Commander. Uh, sure, let's give Hot Rod the, uh, and for their, uh, for Hot Rod, Hot Rod should be able to do the coolant vent trick. Hands down. Meanwhile, Havoc will be the one, I'll give Havoc the breaching shot ability for their advanced skill. Hmm. I'll see where Queen. Uh, yeah, sure. Queen Bee will be a, a will also be the uh, sure footing. There. And let's go find a contract for the next episode. Hmm. Ooh, on the other hand, this pays quite a bit. I kind of want to do... So, pirate leader has fallen behind on payments for their armored vehicles and are leasing. Agent has been unable to repossess the heavily armored vehicles. We've decided that they need a more explosive... Let's do this one again. Let's do another one of these. By your command. And so we'll journey there on this episode, and in the next episode we'll do the mission.
What are we upgrading on the Argo again? I can't remember. I think we're doing a structure update. We'll have a look next time it pops up. And let's see. Oh yeah, structural reinforcements. Oh, it's not like I'm the only noble-born person on the ship, says Queen Bee, slumping low in your guest chair. I mean, there's you. Why can't Medusa harass you about their stupid idea? Apparently when Queen Bee asked to speak to you privately about something, Darius wouldn't understand. It was about the trials and tribulations of being nobility. Well, what is Medusa's idea, you ask? I don't know. Something about cooling systems. He wants me to use my connections to get the idea to people who can implement it. And he doesn't believe me when I say that my birth doesn't automatically open doors like that. And even if it did, I can't waste on bullshit. Queen Bee gives you a plaintive look, clearly hoping for advice or at least sympathy. Ah, I guess I should talk to Medusa. Queen... Oh, God. Uh, oh, no. Um, Queen Bee looks relieved to pass along the burden to you, and later that afternoon, Medusa shows up at your door. You scan the roughly written idea and can immediately see that he's wasting your time. You tell Medusa to focus his energy on being a better mech warrior and leave the engineering to Chief for Ah, oh, poor Medusa. He tried. He tried. Uh, I guess we should send him on this mix. Well, we always send him on the mission anyways, but... And may as well set up the the, the max. Ah, uh, he's in low spirits. Anyways, that'll be it for this episode. I will see you guys in the next one where we will uh, do some uh, creative repossession. Bye.